Squirkles. Like this are a hidden gem and my favorite app in Canva at the moment, hands down. I'm Sarah Nguyen, a Canva verified expert. And in this video, I'm sharing 15 Canva tips to help you get the most out of Canva. I'm talking new apps, features, and tools you may not even know about to help elevate your design game. Before we get started, make sure to click on the link in the description to grab a 30-day free trial of Canva Pro to unlock all of the premium features for you to explore. Let's get started with Type Gradient. Type Gradient is a tool that transforms your text into a visual masterpiece with gradient effects like this. It's a great way to add some pizzazz to your designs and make your text stand out. Now let's get some beautiful type gradient going. So we would start by going to apps, then we would search for type gradient. And this is it. You would select this icon. You would follow the prompts. Once you're in type gradient, here in this main text section is where you want to type the text that you want to have the gradient over. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to leave the text as it is. You can then select the different font options that they've got here. There's quite a few ones. These look like they're different to the ones in Canva. So your Canva fonts won't necessarily come over, but you can scroll through the options and choose something that you like. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. Then you can adjust the alignment of it. At the moment, you can see down here in the preview, it's aligned left. You can change the alignment to be center and also to be right aligned as well. Now we can also see that the line height is a little bit squished. So I'm going to drag this across so that I have a little bit more space between the texts. Here we can select the color of the gradient that we want. So it's this beautiful blue combination, but by selecting on the little circles here, I'm able to drag it across the color spectrum. And I can see this dot here is turning purple. I select, I can see it here. I can select the next part. Let's make it a little bit of a yellow, get those Instagram vibes going. And this final one, let's make it a bit purple there. And you can see the design preview here. You can also see this line here. And as you drag it, you can see the gradient kind of changes direction or shifts, so to speak. So you can play around with that line to see where you want it to kind of end. And once you're happy with that, you would simply add it to your design like this. Once it's added to your page, you can go ahead and drag it and resize it to be whichever size that you want. But what if you want to create a gradient background for your design? That's where the gradient generator comes in. This tool lets you create stunning gradient images that can serve as the perfect backdrop for your text or other design element. Let's get our gradient generator going. We're going to go to apps. We're going to search for gradient generator. We're going to select this option here. Now I can see that there's a color palette that they've set up for me. I can randomize it to shuffle through a couple of options that they've got here. If none of these tickle your fancy, you can go ahead and select the different colors and then drag them. You see the changes happen as you select the colors. So go ahead and make the changes to the color palette as you see fit. And once you're happy with a color palette in the gradient here, you would simply add it to your design. And now that it's here, you see that I have the options to increase the size, drag it where I can expose more of the shape and the gradient and do whatever I need to do with it, just like that. Speaking of sharing your designs, have you ever wanted to share an immersive video and audio experience with your audience? With Canva's audio video QR feature, you can do just that. Create easy to scan QR codes that link directly to your multimedia content, making it a breeze for you to engage with your audience. So to generate a video audio QR like the one you see here, we're going to start in apps. We're going to search for QR in the search bar, and we're going to select this one, the video slash audio QR. So go ahead and select that, follow the prompts. And now I'm going to select upload and playback. And I'm going to upload the video that I want my viewers or my users to see when they scan the QR code. 
Once that's uploaded, you'll see it appear here. And then you can also customize the QR code. So you can make it black and white, or you can make it a different color. I'm going to go ahead and make it pink and generate the QR code. And now when users scan this, this is what they'll see. Hello, this is a demo video. And you can easily add it to your Canva designs. Now let's talk about shapes. Sometimes sharp edges can make your designs feel a little too harsh. That's where rounded corners come in. This feature allows you to soften the designs for a sleek, polished look. To get some beautiful round edges like you see on this image here, I'm going to open a design and this has an image that has square edges. So I'm going to select the image. Then I'm going to select these border style lines here. Once I select that, you can see I've got the ability to do corner rounding. So all you do is you drag this across and you can see the corners started rounding as I did it. In addition to that, you can also add a border to the image. So it just helps um, emphasize the rounded corners a little bit more and you can change the border weight as well. So you can make it thin or thick. You can also make it a little bit dotted or a little bit dashed or you can remove it all together from here. So that's how you would round your corners. You would drag it across to be as round as you would like and then that's it. If you're a round edge person like me, you're going to love creating squircles in Canva too. To get some squircles happening, we're going to go to apps. We're going to search for squircles and it's this can squircle option that comes up. So I'm going to select that one. And here you see, I've got my squircle. So what I can do here is I can adjust the corners by dragging this line across here. So I can make it a little bit more round or I can decrease the roundness and I can also adjust the corner smoothing. So as I select this one, you can see it just refines it a little bit more depending on what you actually want. The other thing that you can do is you can change the color. So any color in the color wheel. And the other thing you could do is also choose between having a solid squircle or you can choose to have it as an outline. So that's pretty cool. So once you're happy with the squircle that you've created, you can then add it to your design and you can continue to create different colored shaped squircles and adjust them as you need and just add as many squircles as you want. If you're feeling extra creative, you might want to explore Canva's intuitive draw tool. With Canva Draw, you can sketch, draw, and bring your ideas to life directly within your designs. It's a great way to add a personal touch to your work. Now you can access Canva Draw. It will be on the left-hand side in Canva. So once you have a design open, you simply select this draw icon here, and then you'll see the options open. You've got a highlighter, you've got a pen, you've got a marker, so to speak. So you choose the thickness of the pen that you want. I'm going to choose this marker. Then I'm going to select a color. So you've got colors from the entire color palette or any of the ones that you've set up. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this pink color here. In addition to that, I've also got the ability to adjust the weight of it. So you see as I increase it, it gets a little bit larger and I can change the transparency as well. So I'm going to leave it as that. And you can see now I've got this draw option. So if I'm sharing my screen with someone, I can use it to highlight points. I can draw things. I've got the highlight option here once again to highlight something, or I've got the pen option if I want to have something a little bit finer. So go on and play with the draw tool. It also works on the Canva app as well. What if you need to collaborate with others on your designs? That's where Canva's whiteboard feature comes in. With an infinite canvas and real-time collaboration capabilities, you can easily share ideas and information virtually with your team and other people. To open up a whiteboard from the Canva homepage, we're going to search for whiteboard or you can select the icon if you can see it there. 
once we've done that, you'll be able to see lots of beautiful templates that you can get started with. I'm going to start with a blank and you can see here, I've got this infinite space that I can add things to. I can also share it and someone else would also be able to work on this document with me at the same time, allowing us to collaborate really easily and talk through things while looking at the same page. If you're not the best artist, do not worry. Canvas Sketch to Life feature uses a little bit of AI magic to convert your scribbles into realistic images. It's like having a personal artist at your fingertips. We're going to go to apps. We're going to search for Sketch to Life and you'll see the app here. So I'm going to select it. And now here is the space for me to draw the thing I want to be brought to life from my sketch. So I'm going to attempt to draw a love heart and let's see what it does. So I also need to describe the sketch here. So I'm going to go freehand love heart and I can see an interesting version of what it's created here. So that is how you would use sketch to life. Now with FrameMaker, you can generate custom Canva frames, which you can then add your images and designs into, kind of like this little custom Pac-Man that you see here that I added this image to. And it's really easy to do and you can customize the shape based on what you need and want for your designs. So to create a custom frame, we will go to apps, we will search for FrameMaker and you'll see this icon here. We'll select it and here is the option now for you to create the custom frame. So at the bottom here, we have options where they've already established some shapes for us and if you select them, it will appear in the preview here and you just go ahead and choose the base shape that you want and then from here, what you do is we can either drag these points to be where we want them to be or we can double click on a section in this actual grid and it will create another point for us. So that allows us to have a lot of flexibility on the custom shape that we want to have. In addition to that, we've got the option to change the grid column. So watch now, you can see as I hover over this, there's this grid action that's highlighted. I can increase or decrease the size of the grid. And this just helps me with aligning the points for the actual frame. So you just go ahead and create the frame that you want. Once you're happy with it, you can then add it to your design. Once it's added to your design, like a normal frame within Canva, you can go ahead and you can add appropriate images to it. So I'm going to drag this image to it like that. And then I'm going to move it around. And like that, that's how you have custom frames and add your designs to them. But what if your photos aren't quite up to par? Canvas AI Photo Enhancer can help with that. With just one click, you can enhance and upscale your images. It's dark and blurry and saturated photos in a click. Now to use the Image Enhancer, we're going to Apps once again. We're going to search for Image Enhancer and we're going to select this Enhancer icon here. Now I'm going to choose the file that I want to enhance. So I'm going to upload this version of the image here that's a little bit pixelated and not as usable. So I'm going to go choose file and select it from my desktop. Here we go. And now I'm also going to get it to enhance my face as well because why not? So I'm going to select enhance. Once it's done its thing, I'm going to add it to the design. And now when we look at it side by side, in the before and after, you can see that it's much, much clearer. It's not as pixelated and it's given me a little bit of a, you know, AI enhancement here in terms of um, just some, I don't know, color and some shine to my glow to my face as well. So that's how the image enhancer works. If you're looking to add some unique patterns to your design, CanWave lets you create wave patterns that can add some visual interest to your work. To get our waves going, we're going to go to apps. We're going to search for can wave and you'll see it here, this little icon, so select that. Once we're in here, this is where we start to modify the waves and we have the options to play with quite a few things. So we can change the number of layers here. So I'm going to add five layers here. We can change the color variation. So as I make the changes, you can see it changing the preview here. 
So color variation, I'm going to increase it so you can see more of a difference between the colors in terms of complexity. As I drag that, you see that it changes the wave complexity and you can also change the height variation of them as well. So I, most importantly and probably most interesting to most people is the color. So I'm going to select color and change it to be something else in the color wheel that suits more of what I'm looking for. So I quite like uh, that one. So that's the one that I would like to change. I can also change the shape. So the cu the curved one is what it's on now. Pointy, I can change it and just modify it as you see here. It changes as you go. So the other thing you can change is the, change is the gradient. So you can change the colors. So here I've got two color options, which I quite like. I quite like the look of that. And as you shift these dials here, they modify the design. And I really like this as well. You can change the complexity of it. You can change the gradient angle. You can also change the height variation. And you also have the option to change the lines. So you can just play around with the lines as waves only. But as you switch between these ones, this allows you to modify the waves to be the different color schemes that you want. It can be curved or pointy as you see fit. And once you're happy with it, you would simply select add to design. Once it's added to your design, you can see as usual with most Canva elements, you can stretch it. You can also modify it a little bit more from this section here as well. So have lots of fun with it. Sometimes you might want to blur out sections or a whole image in your design. With Canva's blur brush, you can do just that, giving you more control over the focus of your work. Now to use the blur brush, you will need to have an image that you want to adjust the blur for. So I've got this image here, you need to select it and then select edit photo. And then you'll see here, there's an option in the effect just down a couple of rows that says blur. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Once the image has opened up, I've got the option to blur a section or blur the whole image. You select the whole image option and then I can drag this across. And as you can see, it's made the whole image blurred or I can just increase or decrease the focus of the image. If I just wanted to blur a section, I would stay in this brush section here. I would select the brush size and the intensity of it. So I'm going to lessen the intensity and just blur out the section C so you can see what it does. So this works well if you're trying to blur out sensitive information or you want to blur out just parts of the image and have it less visible in the image. So that's how you would use the tool. And for those portrait photos that need a little bit of pizzazz, Canva's face retouch feature can help you smooth out blemishes, whiten teeth and remove red eyes. To use the face retouch option, you need to upload an image and you need to select it. Then you'll select edit photo. And then here in effects is where you want to scroll to find it and you'll see face retouch here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and you can see that it's applied it. So I can play with the dial and if you watch, I'm gonna zoom this in so you can see it. When you play with the dial, you can see that it smooths out my face and all my wrinkles. So it's a, you know, interesting little thing to play with and see how you uh, like the impact of it, but that's what you can do. So, but what if you need to make more general adjustments to your photos and videos? Canvas auto adjust feature has you covered. You can adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation and other properties of your media and even isolate adjustments to the background or foreground. You can also color edit specific objects in your image for even more control over your final product. So to use the auto adjust option, you need to have an image uploaded. So I've got one here of my daughter and my husband uh, when she was a little bit smaller than she is now. So you would select it, then you would select edit photo and then here at the top here, you want to select adjust. And then you have the button here that says auto adjust. And you can see with the click of the button, it's played around with the brightness. It's played around with the shadows and whites and etc. And you can go in and you can adjust it. You can adjust the intensity of it, scale that back and see how you like it. But with this one click, it fixes the lighting, it fixes the shadow issues, and it's just a quick way of editing a photo on the fly. If you need to add reflections to your designs to elevate your product shots or add depth to your portraits, Easy Reflections lets you get this job done. So we're going to go to Apps, we're going to go to Reflections, and we're going to select Easy Reflections here. Once this has loaded, we want to select the element in our design that we want to create a reflection for, and then we're going to select create reflection. 
Here we have the option to change the opacity of it. So you see that as I drag this, I can see the preview of it change here. So I'm going to adjust the opacity here and I can also adjust the offset of it here as well. So I'm going to just adjust it to be there. And then you can also modify it to be right, left, above, above, below in terms of the reflection and how you want it to appear. Once you're happy, add it to your design. And here you go. There's the beautiful little reflection that I've created and added to my design. And there you have it, 15 Canva tips and tricks. If you found this video useful, hit the like button for me and subscribe for more. If I can be of service to you by providing additional support to you along your YouTube and business journey, I've put a pinned comment on how I can help you now. Check out the links on the pinned comment and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.